Hello there, everyone! Zantok here with Slickstar Gaming, and welcome back to some more Broken Age, where we have a tiny head. Yes, you do! Way off yes. trail here, as well. Yeah, you are. But hey, yeah. uh, we did one of the three things the Mr. Evil Fox Merrick Man wanted us to do. We broke our orb, or will break our orb. The orb's not going to work anymore, pretty much. That's Correct. What the deal is, which is going to be disastrous for the ship. I just, I just know it. Is he going to take it off? Uh, I would imagine, but maybe not. I, I ain't taking it off. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Yep, go on. What could possibly go wrong? No malfunction. No malfunction. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Head normalization expedited. You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh, no. It turns out that whole head tricking thing was just faulty wiring. <laughs> wow. Then that head would pop right off. <laughs> so again, you're welcome. There you go. Wow. Okay. Oh, I don't want I don't want the image. Oh, no! <laughs> Your head's not shrinking anymore. No, I guess they fixed the wiring. Yep. It's like oh that plot point's done. Don't need to do that no more. Right. Alright, more exploration time. Alright, we already yep. went through that door. I guess I might as well check up here. Yes, my love. All right, let's... Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war and that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our whole Laluna was dying. So we set sail in the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what all seems like. Where is it? Why have we taken so Why long? Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why right. Have some fun in the smile system instead. I want to go to smiles. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could make you some new friends. Ah, uh, that's fine. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. Oh dear. So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. <laughs> Slight concern. Was yeah. that store glowing before? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, I've been through here. I've... Yeah. You've not been through that yellow door. Yeah. Oh, lunchtime. A knife. He looks mean. I can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, feed me. Going back in there if I can help it. All right. Hey, look on the counter. There's Among Us. Amoogus. We don't want to play that game. That's a silly game for silly people. Like you. Right, you got the knife. Nice. Yeah, I can stab now. So that fox tries any funny business. Wait, I keep going down the hall. I did. This is the end of the hall. Uh, was it? Well, yes, technically. It's one end. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, pretty sure you can keep going. 
Like, you think I remember which end of the hall I opened at? Open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Fair. Okay. Uh, you have all of the items you need. Cool. You oh. needed the knife for something. I know By the way, uh, go into your inventory and click on the knife. Okay. You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. So he's me. Yeah, the knife and the spoon have both our personalities. Contains artificial sweeteners suspended in a powerful propellant. Do not discharge into eyes. So I have two weapons, is what I'm getting from that. I mean, you can use a spoon as a weapon, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, I can scoop their eyeballs out. It's uh, you gotta be creative. Yeah. I mean, grabbing Gary, he could definitely be, uh... I mean, he's a good restraining tool. Yeah. I gotta remember the way to... No, not the ice cream place. Um, uh, space. where are you trying to go? Space. I believe... It's either the end of this hall, or it is one of the teleporter rooms. Yeah. I think it might be the, it's the Oh, it's, a, it's the third teleporter room. That's what it is. Oh, no. Yeah, the end of this hall. No, keep going. Oh, is That's it? the teleporter right there. Yep. There's oh, just another oh, way. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes the puppet's got to cut its strings. Now, it would be foolish to cut that, right? You're right. It would be. Guess I'll just cut this air hose. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. No air suffocating in space. Totally worth it. Dummy, you need air. All right. You need to figure out a way to get air first. I wonder Duh. how you get air. Let's see if this fits. Come on. What? <laughs> That's the stuff. No, nah, no, nah, this pisses me off so much. <laughs> this, this makes me angry. That should not know. Okay, now go in the air. Uh, oh no! And you're dead. Gotta get further out. Come on, legs. Ugh. I wish I had some sort of propulsion. We're getting there. Yep. Slowly One but surely. One discovery at a time. Yep. Oh, at least I don't have to do that part again. Yeah. Oh, and the thing I don't that you're thinking of. You can attach to your suit. What? Woo. Bye. Bye. I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? We go see the pointy. Oh. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it got all intense all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh. Keep going left, I think. Come on. Let me go left. Off the left. Yeah, just keep going up left. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep, you saw it. Oh my god. Please don't control like ass. <laughs> oh dear god. No! Go this way! So 
Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Actually, I'll need something even thinner than that if I'm going to pry that thing open. Let me try to... Oh, hey! Uh oh No, no not the face! Or the neck! Or the body! I'm free! Free to clean the infinite void of space itself! Bye! That's a relief for a lot The knife of has people. never been so happy. He can cut through space for all eternity. Ah, rats. Can't reach. Even if I could reach the controls with that, I don't think I could grab and turn them. I think... I think Gary... wants to grab that. Okay, <laughs> <Gary>. <laughs> Fucking better. It's hero time. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. So happy. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? Bye, Gary. <laughs> Look at him. Alright, now, now we have just have to beat the thing go where we want it to. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Gary. Hmm. You were the best present ever. Ah. So, I'm gonna tell you, you need to now make your way to the navigation room. Oh yeah, I kind of figured. Probably use but, the hook. I'll say, it, but uh, the uh, navigator doesn't uh, isn't allowed to let you through yet, or he. Isn't allowed to let you through, I should say. Yeah, well, it's, he's not going to have much choice in the matter. That's true. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Nope, not. Stop sh Stop showing the inventory when I don't want it, and start <laughs> showing it when I want it! God damn it! Alright, Mr. Weave Robot Man, um, listen. We, uh, we're gonna go somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make alterations in the nav scar. Next time the Space Weaver is doing his countdown, I should try it. Gotcha. There you go. I'm going to recommend mm -hmm. uh, for this just to go to the Cozy Cluster. Okay. Where shall we go today, Wiseman? Because it's just easier. Fine. Cozy Cluster it is. Oh, you also might want to look at your Prima Duma. Yeah, I was wondering if I would have to do that. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Uh, yeah, I'll remember that. Just, uh, that's fine. Leave it there. Good. Not there. There you go. Just top left. Click all. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you had one too many. Yeah. That middle, you don't want the middle, uh, middle one. I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? Before you do, let I me just, uh, I'm just going to cheat and take a little screenshot. I, I was i was also helping you through it. Um, yeah. You need to make three marks. That's really what it is. Where shall we go today, wise Cozy cluster. Fine. Cozy cluster it is. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake hmm. calibers. Oh, oh come on. Knit with this. Actually, the thrusters at viscosity. Spin the lab rotational velocity. Deploy. Oh, we need this one and this yep. one and this one. I don't think anyone yep. would mind this. There we go. Three. Two, one. Wait, no. This is not the destination I indicated. I'm so sorry, Ambassador. I will correct this right now. What's that? I see 
Well, that's unfortunate. Wow. You took that really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. But how? We don't have yarn. Right? All right. Young cop over here. Yeah, yeah. Ready for this. We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. All right, Gary. We now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shield. And your remote control for that children's toy, grabbing Gary. Yes. We may now press it to activate grabbing Gary. And thereby the ship's <laughs> grabbing Gary. Ooh. Yep. Nice. Well done. Now the next one. I don't have a name for that guy, so he's just gonna be Phil. I can't tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young cub. Ah. Rats. I'm an octopus. Uh. Rats. Keep. Yeah, this one's a lot harder. See the creature Did it just go slower? Eye, then simply... Ah. Rats. God, they're all gonna die. <laughs> eh, you know. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No, I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I, I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. I don't even know where it is. Just one creature. There is no need for this. We've saved more than enough. There it is. Oh, it's a pumpkin. It's not worth the risk, boy. Rats. There you go. Where's the pumpkin? Huh? What's that? I... I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers. Attention, ship is on the right path. Uh-oh. I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Yes! Spirit! Run, Shay! Get somewhere safe! Attention, critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. No! Can we? I feel like we did this. There you are. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe. Shay! That's fine. Oh dear. Yup. Good thing you're tethered to the ship. Oh, right. Oopsie. Good thing I have my nut. Oh, there's my weapon. Hi, Sauron. What's up? It's been a while. Our kids. And you died. Good job. Reincarnation. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. But I guess we're taking a break from his storyline. Yep. His hey. is done for now. Uh, lady, wake up. Kids yelling for you. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. What? You heard her. 
Okay. Wow, we are a giant. Look at this. Right? She only comes up to our knees. <laughs> no. Where is she? There you are. I was getting worried. How did you Wait, miss did us? No. Right? I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. She has a yarn necklace. Come on, Pongy. <laughs> Hello? Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. For... She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! Cake's right, always important. Come on. Let's get this good time over with. It depends on the cake. Yes, cake. Now, where right, did fruit I cake, not so much. Face? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Please let it be the same knife. <laughs> Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna fight nope. it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> I don't think you know me. <laughs> Or that did give Not you an item. Until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. I just wanted to see if the knife was in the pie. One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Need a towel, Grandpa? Why? Will it look like some old drooling invalid to you? A little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to put the towel over your head. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Why so grumpy, Gramps? Because we're celebrating something that's a mockery of what this town used to stand for. Wow. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Lavina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed. Pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Then why are you here? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, well, <laughs> what if I give you a cupcake? Eh, why not? Yeah, kind of. For me? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, mom says you can't have any. No, mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> That's what you get for being a dick. Right. All right, now you come here. For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Wow. Okay, Grandpa but. Beastender? All I right, I was thought knife. maybe I'd get the knife, but okay. Why would he give you the knife? Because I gave him a fucking cupcake. Yeah, but he didn't have to use the knife for anything. Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. I think that's supposed to look like Magchatra, my handsome date to the prom. What? Okay. You heard her. I, yeah, but I don't know if I believed it. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. 
She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. The day I become a baker. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already! Oh! Well, let's just fucking leave. Can I ask you about the maiden's fees? Like her hat. Aren't you paying attention in maiden training? <laughs> no, I wasn't. What is Mog Chakra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our lands. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> you look like a potato. Where do creatures like Mog Chakra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. That's helpful. I want to go beyond right? the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chakra's stomach. Ah. Uh, what? How much you do heard you know her. About these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Am I the virgin sacrifice? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. You just did. <laughs> Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. What the fuck? Mog Chakra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloth just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. I, all you need I don't, to know though. is how to look pretty in your dress. <laughs> we'll take care of the rest. There, there's so many questions, and I don't like any of them. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chakra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chakra will destroy this village, including your family. So is far, my family. You, you know what? I mean, Grandpa's a dick, and you're crazy. So. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. And bless her soul. Not Your all of the town grandma? members have stayed as hip and nope. with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. That's okay. We can have this on our on Macau. Let's give the opportunity to talk to everybody before I tell you what I was you need just to wondering, do. What if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> oh, hey, there's another person. There is. <laughs> Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. Get over here. Okay? Fair. Fair point. Yeah, that's actually really fair. So, you... Uh, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your cake. You have talked to the correct person about giving a cupcake to them. Now? You know who has the knife. Well, he said he hid it. It's not necessarily that he has it. You need to trick him. Hmm. Split it. I'm too nervous to eat. I didn't give it to you. <laughs> oh, where is that darn knife? For me. Split it with you? Deal. Idiot. On second thought, <laughs> you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Yeah, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. I kind of want another cupcake. <laughs> Just to have one, you know? I think I've right. had enough. I'm ready for the real feast. You didn't have any! I think I'm wrapped up pink. 
stab mom. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chopra? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Yeah, I'm going to miss <laughs> being alive. Dark. <laughs> Majestic to behold. Oh, inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. No, it's not right. For one thing, I should be in the center. Ha, <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of Delish, fun size, up for grabs, drink me, and hot stuff. Yep. All right. Um, so. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. Uh, I, I was waiting for something to happen. You could talk to the other maidens. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not going to work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You sound so familiar. Who are you? You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mom Chopper hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Uh, a towel? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzards! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. That's fair, Never honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to look up who the hell her voice actress because she sounds super familiar. Bye. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh. People are crazy. Right? Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. You want to win this? I hear him. Look, there he is. That's what I know them as. So, did you ever watch Shaolin, uh, Shaolin Showdown show? Nope. Oh, okay, well. So Here I am, oh, wait, no, that's what she. Oh my god. It's Medusa. Hmm. The game I just finished playing. Kid Icarus oh, Uprising. He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth. That explains a lot. No way. He's coming my direction. Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then, after some careful consideration... 
Well. Yeah, you people want to be chosen? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, time to escape there, bud. Yeah, I want to leave. Bird. Over here, you big dummy. I just want you to know that it's a great I have that bottle. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Treat you to that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too thin. This horrible thing, you got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. So much. Oh, I'm sorry, but this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. But what? Oh, that poor girl. Boom. Oh no! That should have been me. All right. Okay, here we go. How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to put my best accent to the mock chop? He'll be looking for a full-size mid-range long trip. Oh, it's not over. Well, hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? But he's obviously made his decision. Give it to me or I'll stab you. <laughs> the utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silverware detracts from the hand feel of food. Uh, okay. Uh, Talk to somebody. They don't make toothbrushes your size. But really? Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best assets from Mock Chopra. He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Well, you didn't want the towel. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daily. How about this other? Never mind. Would you like a towel? Quick, quick, help me put myself back together. Uh, a little help. I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? I uh, hit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you did many times. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, how long have you been standing there? Gone. Give me a ride. How here, Birdie? Oh, come on. So close. I don't want to stab that bird. I can <laughs> yeah! get out of here. Oh yeah. And also, I lose my knife. Okay, well, do we need the corset? There we go. That's it. Well, it's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Hey. I know, right? I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to be eaten alive. Thank you very much. I don't think I'd do that. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna cut the rope. <laughs> nope. Bella is awesome. She's got a knife between her teeth, riding a bird. Oh yeah. The other birds are like, "Fuck's going on over here?" Right. 
Like, we should leave. Sorry, should we get away from me? Keep your egg, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Oh god. You know what, uh instead of, of that, uh let's just <laughs> In this episode. Yep. And call it here. Uh, see That's you all next time. Idea. Bye, everyone. Bye bye.